understand. Vanya used to live here? It's just a crater. It wasn't a <gasps> crater when they lived here. Something happened to it. What? Like, an explosion? It'd have to be huge. Something is causing this. Hey! 
they're doing here? Some Vanya turn to dark magic to defend themselves from the Aesir. Oh! Oh! your help coaxing this stag back to the world tree. The boss needs your help, mind you. Not me. I'm doing great. Got a belly full of stag feed. Living life, but yeah. Talk to him back to the round between rounds when you got a moment. Closer. We are near the source. I know you see me. Uh, 
I am listening. Five hours due north. Two hours east. I said I would find this valley a new home after the Aesir destroyed mine. So, what happened? I came on you. Remember, I know that I wanted a new life. Do you remember seeing anything that could help us find the other half of your hourglass? There were three waterfalls. I remember wishing I could live near them. Another spirit displaced by the Aesir. Odin must have been really mad when Freya left him to do all this. Odin was never going to stop. That's why he sent Thor. And little Fey. Did she challenge Thor? Challenge Odin? Who knows? But the truth is waiting for us, brother. <laughs> <laughs> There must be a way across. Have we looked everywhere? Watch my head on these walls, brother. Am I not always careful with you? Oh, yeah. Always the lightest touch. If something destroyed this tunnel on its way through, it must be big. No matter the size, every creature has a weakness. Huh. Quiet all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody Drake! <laughs> <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
should have anticipated such a beast in this valley. Well, always expect the unexpected, right? I just hope this means an end to all the shaking. Maybe by the time we're done in this valley, it won't be such a bad place to settle down. We should see if there are other dragons to hunt out in the crater. If we're gonna be, you know, healing the realm. Isn't that interesting? What is it? I haven't a clue. Hence the interest. Still, crystals are valuable. Perhaps we'll find a use for it. You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprised. Esteem.
Look at that. Fancy a dip, brother? Time of rebirth, renewal. Oh, I've missed the smell of those flowers. I'm sorry, kid. Just come back already. of the Valiant Schematics, eh? You know of him? Aye. One of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. Another one of those mysterious crystals.
I wanted to tell you. I read something in Odin's library about what Gjallarhorn is supposed to do. If blown by a god, it sounds through all the realms and harmonizes the space between them. Blow it somewhere like Tyr's temple, and it would be like opening up all the realm travel towers at once. It's quite a vulnerability. Wonder why he didn't just destroy it. Some artifacts defy destruction. Well, we should make Freya aware of this. Master Kratos, thank you for coming. Much to discuss. Speak. The tree has become rather overgrown. And? And if it grows too wildly, the branches risk getting too heavy and falling, which is not ideal considering they hold all the realms. I am no gardener. What an absolute shock. No, I do not require any horticultural skills from you, but I would ask that you keep an eye open for the stags of the Four Seasons. They normally graze upon the tree and keep it tidy. Unfortunately, Bitter decided it would be funny to trick Arrogant into releasing them. If you happen to find the stags during your travels, I would greatly appreciate assistance in bringing them home. I would have one of my spectral squirrels do it, but they, well, keep eating the feed I give them. Consequence of it being the most delicious food in all the Nine Realms, I suppose. We have seen these stags. Great! Then all you need is some feed. Once you've found a stag, the feed should calm them down. Then one of my spectrals will guide them back here. And, uh, don't eat the feed, please. I will not. Bitterness asked me if I was too chicken to release them. But I am, in fact, not chicken-like whatsoever. So as you can see, I have no choice. Yes, of course. What else could you have done? <sighs> While normally this would be a harm. That is enough. Any luck finding those lean words? are the best. You've always been the best. Hey, tell her she's the best. Oh! <clears throat> the heroes of the hour. I want to hear everything. I mean, when you're ready, I'm not giving orders here, am I? Try to rest, Ingvi. Let the herbs work. Oh, they work? Oh, they, they work very well. Because... You make things better. You always have. Since... Since we were kids. I find a new way to get into trouble. And you find a way to make it better. Well, that's certainly true. Do you know... <clears throat> do you know we used to leave Vanaheim? Together? When we were young? Not much older than you, to be honest. Well, you know, she did the leading. I just... Try to keep things fun. <laughs> Leadership. Not really my strong suit, let's be honest. <laughs> really? Your group back in Vanaheim seems pretty devoted. Well... 
I can inspire people. I guess. Uh, you get them to see the best in themselves, you know? I don't know if that's leadership. It's more like, um... Like a muse? Wait. Like... Like a what? A muse. Father told me about them. In his homeland, they inspired all kinds of artists. What? I love that. That's a job? Well... Uh... Why don't we have that? Oh, man. I could totally do that. I think they were all goddesses, though. Well, come on. That's not fair. That's not fair. I I would be a natural. Oh. What were we talking about? Envy. You must rest. You understand? You must. Enough. Look at that. <laughs> you really did it. How, in all the nine realms, did you manage to kill Heimdall? I knew our spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody. Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refused that deal. Yet he honored it. But now... But what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can't. Use... Go back. Look. If I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers. Maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon. Before they figure out what's happened. Choice. You are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it, but it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye, and once he has what he needs from you, then I lose my leverage. I get it. I'll be smart. Father. I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. Too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, uh, you have it. And therein lies a tale. 